Hi, it's me again, Dr. Gator Bredovitas, your dermatologist. For this video, we will discuss um, ano ba ang melasma? Bakit nagkakaroon ng melasma? At paano ba ito nagagamot? O meron bang um, mga paraan para maiwasan ito? Melasma is a brownish grayish condition that often occurs on the face. Common areas of involvement include the forehead, your nose bridge, your cheeks, your chin, and in some patients, even dun sa ibabaw ng upper lip natin. So what are the reasons why individuals develop melasma? Number one is genetics. It is more common in women than in men. Mas marami pong babae ang nagkakaroon ng melasma kumpara sa mga lalaki. It's also more common in individuals with darker skin types. For example, Filipinos, Southeast Asians like mga Indonesians, Thai, Indians, Hispanics. And this is because we have a lot of active melanocytes on our skin. Another reason is excessive sun exposure. So UV radiation triggers our melanin to go up on the skin to protect us and this can lead to melasma. Next reason would be change in hormones. For example, in women, um, when you get pregnant, you get an increased uh, amount of hormones. Ano pa yung iba? Birth control pills or intake of hormone replacement therapy. In some patients, using products that irritate the skin. When you use perfume and you spray it on your face, pwede makalala yun sa melasma mo. Constant and prolonged exposure to heat, not necessarily from the sun. For example, when you're cooking or you're always in front of the oven, that can also make your melasma worse. How do dermatologists diagnose and treat melasma? Because we are trained, when we see you, Maybe 90 to 95% of the time, we will be able to tell whether it's melasma or not. We also have other tools in our clinic, gaya ng wood slab, which will let us know kung ano yung depth ng pigment of your melasma. But sometimes, melasma can also look like other lesions. And this is when yung ibang dermatologists, they do what you call a punch biopsy. Now, in treating melasma, it's very important to first discontinue what actually is causing your melasma. If it's excessive sun exposure, then we will advise you to um, always put on sunscreen or protective clothing and to avoid prolonged sun exposure. If it's use of hormones like birth control pills, kung hindi naman to kinakailangan, we will advise also that you discontinue using that. In treating melasma, sunscreen use is a must. I always tell my patients, especially those with existing pigmentation problems, to always use sunscreen even when you're indoors. When you are outdoors, it is recommended that you apply your sunscreen every 2 to 3 hours between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Kasi in between these hours, dun yung sun pinakamalakas, especially in our country because we live in a tropical country. Other treatment options that dermatologists may offer would include um, topical creams such as your exfoliants, your bleaching creams, and your anti-aging creams. Pwede din mga procedures such as chemical peel or exfoliation. We may also perform light-based treatments such as your lasers. What you have to remember is that melasma is a chronic and recurrent condition. In fact, if you stay indoors and really avoid sun exposure, pwede siyang mag lighten on its own. On the other hand, for example, you underwent a lot of treatments, you're very religious in applying your creams, and your melasma almost disappeared, but then suddenly you decide to go beach, it can come back just like that all of a sudden. Gusto ko lang emphasize na a lot of pigmented lesions look the same to an untrained eye. So it's very important that you consult your dermatologist if you have problems on your skin that you want addressed. Please avoid experimenting. Don't just keep buying what you think will work for you. And dami ko ng chinit na patients na dog. I tried this, I bought this, and nilagay ko sa skin ko. That actually made the lesions look worse. I hope this video sort of gives you an overview and an understanding of what melasma is. So, if you have a skin lesion that you feel is melasma and you want to have it checked and treated, I highly recommend that you see your dermatologist so that he or she can assess you and you can discuss in detail what your condition is and what treatment options are available for you.